Hi, I'm Q and I play Pokemon and it's my birthday today! Woo! <laughs> I'm not doing that again, sorry, that was bad. As you can probably see, we have a very special guest today on my very special birthday and that is Kai the Riolu. He can't say hi to you, but you should pretend that he did because look at him. I don't know where to put him, so <laughs> I might just awkwardly hold him the whole video, I don't know. It's fine, he's cute, it's fine. So about like a week ago or two weeks ago or I don't know, because I have no concept of time anymore. Jacob and Taka tried to get into the DLC area for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and you've probably seen many many videos of people exploring the DLC area just going under the map from one of the caves and traveling under the map the whole way to the DLC area and just you know chilling there seeing there's nothing there all of that the guys did the same thing because there's not a lot of things to do in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now I don't know at least according to me apart from training Pokemon and exploring there's not a lot of things to do especially if you 100% the game apart from the Pokedex well there's that and they got to a certain point that I'm pretty sure a lot of people have got to before falling into the void I'm not exactly sure how they fell into the void but they both kind of just fell into the void and got reset to where they started from which is when they said yeah no I'm not doing this now this was enough it was a long way to even get here I'm not bothered but Yesterday, I thought it can't end there, right? Because if they got there, there must be a way out and into the DLC area so you can walk on the DLC area as opposed to just walking under it. There's a point in one cave that I forgot the name right now where you can sort of jump into the wall and then you are stuck in the wall, right? You are in the walls of the game. You're not exactly on the playable map. You're like literally in the walls, right? And from the walls, you can get into the ocean that is under the map and then just travel to wherever you want. But the problem with that is you are stuck moving between the wall textures and everything like that, you know. So when they got to this point, as you can see, there was a palm tree and just seemingly something, some sort of surface that you could walk on. And when they tried to get onto that, they fell into seemingly nothing and they got reset to where they started from. But that wasn't enough for me because I'm me and I play Pokemon almost 24 seven, so. I mean, I'm not sure that's a flex, but you know, I was, I wanted to see if there's anything more that you can do to get there and I did find something and I'm going to show you today and we're going to explore even more of it because I stopped at some point because I thought, oh, this would be a cool video to make. I'm not trying to say that I'm the very first person who's done this and oh my god, look guys, look what I discovered, but still I am going to show you what I did find and show you how to do it and hopefully they don't patch it out. I mean, why would they? because they haven't patched the way to get into the wall, so you should be able to do that just fine. Okay, I want to play, and I don't know where to put you. Is that okay? I don't know. Is that Does that look weird? I can't see anything. I don't have my glasses on. Does that look weird? Does that Or does that look fashion? He stays there, because I, I, I gotta play. Okay, so as you can see, I am in Alfernada. I think that's how you say that. And this is the point from which you can go into the cave. Hopefully I'll be able to do it as smoothly as possible, because it's annoying. <laughs> and a quick side note that I probably forgot to mention, you need to have unlocked every single thing that Koraidon or Miraidon can do in order to get to this point, like swimming, climbing, all of that, you need to be able to do that. But that shouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty sure everyone's completed the game at this point, right? Okay, so this is where uh, I'm about to jump. That was in English. You don't need gliding for this, I'm just being fancy. Okay, so let me just send out Fyodor to clean out any Pokemon that might annoy me when I try to jump off just in case it doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a wall here and we're gonna go up and we should go... Okay, that worked really well actually. Okay, yeah. So you see there's the bit onto the ocean. There's a bit onto the void right now. Yep. Yep. So yeah, you can see. You can see we're in the wall. I'm going to keep saying we're in the walls. I don't know why. I just think that's a bit of a mood, but it's probably not. It's probably just for me. So we're in the ocean. So as I said, you have to go through the whole map to go to the DLC area. The main bit about this is that you need to avoid the waters because of the way the game is constructed. If you go through a water area, it will just pull you back up and then you will need to go back down. But as you can see, there's a DLC area on the other side of the map. We're going to go exactly there roughly when I'm circling. And yeah, just try not to be cucked by waters. We're going to try to avoid that as well as we can. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly fast forward you through this because the way I do it is I put landmarks every single small portion of the way there and then I save a bunch of times and everything. It just takes a long time. So I'm gonna fast forward you through it and when we're close to the DLC, I'm gonna go back to normal speed and I'm gonna show you the quick trick that I found. Well, it's not really a trick, it's just a glitch to get on the actual land of the DLC.
Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I try, I'm trying right now to go through the waters, which I've mentioned before, and it's just trying to pull me back up. You can obviously go back down, but it's just a bit of a trek. There's no other way than from where I'm going right now to get to the other side, but there is a specific point right where I am where you can just, yeah, see, there you go. So that's fine. In case you're wondering what the hell is going on with my hair, well, I have just washed it and it's taking a very long time to dry, but I had to film this so it can be ready by the time I want to post it because it's my birthday today and I want to post it today. So editing, you know, and everything. So you have to forgive my hair. You can't not forgive my hair because I'm the birthday girl and you know, we're almost there. We're almost there. You will be able to see the crossed out thing on the map at the bottom. Oh, uh, just about now. We are under the DLC area. There's a lot of textures that you can see that look very empty and they are for the most part. Okay, so I'm just gonna get to the point where the guys got up to. You probably saw earlier in the video. I know why I'm pointing to the back of where I am right now. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So there is a palm tree and a bit of an island that looks walkable. And it is walkable, right? But the thing is the palm tree and that little sand area is not actually part of the DLC. It's part of the North province area, whatever it was. What is next to it, however, is part of the DLC area because it is still inside of the wall. I don't know why I'm gesturing like that. In the DLC area, there's no Pokemon to catch, right? It's just a plateau of, well, really bad textures. But there are items that you can collect. Not the Pokeball type, but the little sparkly thingy on the ground that what I assume is the game thinks you're in an area that you should be able to be in and it spawns the things there. But still, you can get items from the DLC area. That was actually quite important to mention. I should have probably just started with that. Because, like, why else would you watch the video just to watch a random lady go through a plateau of, like, nothing, you know? So, yeah, no, you can find items. You can find things in there, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna save real quick because I'm scared. This is really... This is a bit of a glitch again that we have to do. So just best to save before glitches. And as you can see, there's a wall here that and a bit of a surface that you can walk on. just like a floor texture. We need to get in the floor texture right not under it in the floor texture because if we're if we're under it for too long the game's just gonna reset us to the cave back into the cave so i'm just saving crazy because i don't i don't know i don't want to get anything wrong but we need to be in the floor and then save because if you're under the floor it's not going to allow you to save if you are in the floor it will because it thinks you're standing on something so we're going to get in the texture and then we're going to save, then we're gonna close the game and we're gonna boot it up again and we're going to be on top of the thing walking properly. And after that, it's when we can explore the whole thing. So that's great. So let's just try to get, why is this so complicated now? It was completely fine yesterday. I'm struggling so much right now because I discovered this by accident yesterday. So obviously it just came, well, there you go. There you go. I am in the wall, let's just save. What the, I keep saying wall, I'm in the floor, okay. And there you have it, the great, the great texture of that wall. Just gonna save real quick and I'm gonna exit the game. I'm gonna boot it back up. I'm just saving a lot because I'm so worried it's just not gonna work. I don't know, I have, I've only tried this once and it was by accident. So if this doesn't work now, it's really embarrassing. Okay, so I'm just gonna boot it back up and when the game loads, we are going to be on the surface. We're not gonna be stuck in the textures anymore. Okay, <laughs> it worked. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay, I just saved myself. Great, I saved the video. Oh my God, you don't wanna know how many of these before with other topics and everything I failed to do mid filming. So yeah, no, that's not, that's not fun. I'm glad it worked. So as you can see, we are on the surface, we can walk freely. And I'm just gonna say real quick, actually, just thinking. And if you look in the corner at the tiny map thing, we are in the grayed out area, right? We are bordering the playable area, but we are in the DLC area. There's an item, I think it's a power herb. Yeah, okay. So yeah, um, there will be a bunch of these items just across the whole thing. Some of them are berries as well. So if you're lacking berries, they're useful. Yeah, but that's about it for items. Like, you're not gonna get something crazy like bottle caps. At least I haven't found anything crazy like that. That item right there is in the playable area, so we can't get to it. There's just a fine wall between them. Okay, and if you give it, like, five minutes or so, just at the border where the wall is, where I am right now, Pokemon will start to spawn. So, as you can see, I can't walk to them. I'm really trying to walk to them. I am stuck behind the wall, and they can't see me. I can see them, but they can't see me. I can't go into a battle with them. I've tried several times. They're just there. That is not the DLC area. This, however, this ugly ass wall is the DLC area. And it's scalable. It's scalable. So I'm just gonna go up and, oh my God, look how ugly it is. I can't, it's horrendous. I mean, I know there's not gonna end up being like that. 
in the final DLC, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Like, it's just, it's horrible, but it's scalable. And scalable is what we need right now, because we need to get up onto the surface. Okay, the bits that you see there with the trees, that's the playable area. Well, this is playable too, but you know what I'm referring to. And then down there is where we came from, obviously. I mean, yeah, look, the textures are great, just as we expected them to be. The thing is fully finished, obviously, just like we expected it to be. See, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, so I'm not gonna give them too hard of a time about how ugly this is, but it is really ugly, so yeah, you know. So we've reached the top and this is it. We're stuck in the walls again. I'm gonna keep saying that just to clarify that this is still within the confines of where wall textures are. So if the area is any bigger, I can't see it without exiting the wall and finding another way um, in, which I will try to do after I show you everything that I already know around here. But yeah, I can't go past that. I can't go in that direction because there's a wall. But right now, we're just here on this plateau of, as you can see on the map, clearly not within what is normally playable. And we got a berry, so that's good. What is that? Yeah, no, I can't see what that is because the writing's tiny, but you can tell, right? You can, you can read, you have better vision than me right now. Okay, so let me just quickly show you on the map where we are. That is where we are right now. And up to there, I'm pretty sure is where we go. The building that you see, again, I have no idea what I'm picking up. Okay, I'm gonna have to rely on the editing and quick, obviously save in between item drops because I, you know, I want to keep them. But the building that you see there isn't, I mean, I don't know if you can see it. I know it from memory. Um, yeah, you can now. There you go is the team star base that we can't go to it's behind the wall again initially i thought from afar that they rendered the building into the dlc and i was so excited like oh my god you guys i discovered something but no this is how it looks like from where we are that is the wall that you see if you go normally behind the team star base that probably a lot of us have tried to scale to get on top of the dlc area that's the base and that is where we are right now yeah you can see where the wall cuts through yeah I know I keep saying, yeah, but you can see you have eyes. And that on top of it, I've tried to get to it. It seems to be just a cosmetic texture that covers the whole thing. Because one thing I noticed is when you walk to the grayed out area, there's this huge, unscalable, unflyable to bit of rock, right? That looks horrible. That is purely cosmetic. You can't scale it because it's not rock. You can't not scale it because they stopped you from doing it. It's because it's cosmetic textures right it's not it, there's not anything behind it you know when we were down and you could see just like sheets of what looked like rock that's just the cover-up texture of thing and look like that over there just like that right so you can't scale these this is why you can't get on top of it this is why you can't jump on it this is why you can't climb it i know i'm not using the oh look at this pretty right angle hill I'm certain that I'm not using the right terms for this, you know, I'm pretty sure someone with a video game background can tell me that cosmetic textures are not what you call them, but I don't know what you call them. <laughs> but you know what I'm referring to when I say that. The way I describe them is sheets. Because one thing that I saw in the video that Jacob and Taka initially sent us on the group of them exploring on the map, and one thing that I also saw when I actually got to this point here, is that quite a lot of the mountains are sheet-like, I guess. There's obviously the mountains, right? And you can scale them, you can climb them from sort of a land level, right? So let's say the land is here and this is the mountain, right? I'm explaining amazingly, I know. But yeah, so from here you can climb up the mountain, but there's also mountain under the thing that you can't get to. And that's where kind of the textures that look like sheets come into the equation. They properly look like sheets, trust me on this. I don't know how to explain in a way that makes total sense. So I'm just gonna show you what I mean in the video that the guy said and stop talking because I'm not making any sense. Okay, so if you look at the thing in the top corner of the video where I'm pausing it now, that bit looks like a sort of sheet texture. You, you, now that you can see it, you know what I mean. Right, so things like that happen quite a lot in the game, including here. And things like that are what the unscalable mountain is made out of. That's why you can't climb it, or that's the explanation I'm trying to give myself to it. Again, if I'm wrong, and you know more about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below and explain why actually you can't climb it. Because I don't know, I'm speculating right now. I hope I'm slightly correct, but that's the way it makes sense to me. So yeah, I'm going to keep trying to climb on these just in hopes that I can get any higher up than what I've already discovered, but I don't think I'll be able to really. I'm lucky to even have found this, to be honest, I don't know. I was literally trying to get on top of the island that the guy showed because they, they tried themselves, but they failed and then they kind of got annoyed, so. I completed their mission, if you will, 
but yeah i wasn't expecting it to work to be honest i was just joking like 10 minutes prior to me actually trying that someone who's better at handling those things than them should be able to do it but i didn't think that would be me because <laughs> i'm not better at handling those things than them so i don't know um luck i guess i really want to camp with my babies here so that we can have a little birthday sandwich you know because i can't feed them anything else in this fucking game i'm really excited i can show you guys this especially as a birthday sort of thing because that's the best gift to me really to just play pokemon because yeah I, i'm fun like that okay so down i haven't been there i actually have never seen that so we're gonna go there in a second i kind of want to try to admire this 90 degree cliff no i want to try to get up see if there's any way up just quickly um and then i will get down explore that and see if there's anything there it's probably just gonna be items to be honest because everything else that you saw wasn't in the dlc area but i'm already really impressed with the textures of it all i think there's another way down there actually yeah i haven't been here either so i haven't been any way any lower than where we are right now i've just sort of walked around here if you see anything that looks scalable upwards please let me know but i don't think there's anything my issue is that it looks like there is because it looks like there are textures above but those textures are still cosmetic things as far as i'm concerned i think what we're seeing is the top of the thing that we can see from outside as well that's my guess at least i don't know i'm not even gonna bother to tell you look there's where to find this item like i said i think these spawn randomly and even if i wanted to i can't see what i'm picking up but I hope it's good stuff. I know for a fact there's power herbs and white herbs because I played that with glasses on. And I know something about berries. I don't remember exactly which ones. I know citrus berries for sure. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, so I don't think there's any way up immediately, apparently. So I'm just gonna go into the cliff now. Not the cliff, uh, the lower region. That sounds horrible, Jesus. Pit. I'm gonna go into the pit. I fell in the pit. Yeah, no, that's ugly. That's hideous. Let's go. Not wearing glasses when you're usually really blind, which is what I am, I'm really blind, you don't want to know, I'm really blind, is really tiring. <laughs> and I am trying my best not to look, okay, that was a super potion, I think. Yeah, so that's that. I don't think there was any super potions on top of the thing. I keep speaking over myself somehow, so sorry for that. Yeah, so yeah, it can be quite tiring to not wear glasses when you need to wear glasses, but I can't wear glasses when I'm filming because of the ring light. It's a whole story. Why do I not have contacts? Don't even ask me. So yeah, I'm trying my best not to look tired, but it can be quite tiring on the eyes. So if I do look tired, also tell me, roast me, feel free. But also, sorry, genuinely, I'm not trying to look disinterested. It's just my eyes going a bit. Can I go down there i don't think i can because it looks like just textures again of things i don't want to risk it because if it pulls me into the void you know you've probably had it trying to backward climb in the game before if you have that motion where your pokemon just kind of keeps falling then it resets you to someplace else and usually that's the cave i don't want to do all the thing to get back here to be honest okay so that looks like they might add water into this specific region because it just looks a bit abnormal i suppose for pure land but they haven't added water yet if 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 when this releases i'm not even sure if i'm gonna buy it yet it really doesn't feel worth the money i've pre-ordered pokemon scarlet and violet we all know that and when i actually got to playing the game mm, i don't want to say i was disappointed but i think everyone was really disappointed with the game so I'm a bit skeptical to get the DLC right off the bat. Yeah, I will wait, I think. <laughs> but if anyone gets the DLC before me, do me a favor and tell me if there's gonna be a river there. Or like a tiny bit of spring water, you know, just anything water related. Let me know if it's there. Okay, honestly, I think that's about it with this bit. It's just a plateau with maybe a river and two super potions. You might be able to find some other item, I don't know. But for me, it was two super potions, I think. We're just gonna climb up the ugliness and go back down into the other ugliness the other way around. There was another cliff thingy, if you remember, there was another area for me to save. My hair is really annoying me right now. You're probably seeing I keep doing this, it's really annoying me right now. Let's 
Uh, is this where I came from? No. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go down here now. Freefall and glitching textures. The pinnacle of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's see what's that. It looks like it was still a potion. So that wasn't very impressive. I think that was, yep, that's the weather trying to glitch through. So that's beautiful. It happens sometimes. I mean, it happens a lot in this game because I don't think the game knows where you are. It can recognize on the map that you are here, but it doesn't know where the hell you actually are. It's trying to do things. Did you see that? Did you see that? What the hell was that? Did you see that? Oh my god, why? <laughs> why is it so trippy? Oh my god, what the hell? Why does it do that? <laughs> can someone actually tell me in the comments? Why does it do that? I don't know why it does that. That was super trippy and that actually jump scared me. Like I wasn't expecting the sudden change in whatever that was. Oh my god, that was that was horrible. I hated it. Okay, weather again. We should probably try now to go up again. I haven't found a way. Oh, there's another way down! I didn't quite mean to fall right now. I wasn't trying to, but we haven't been here. So that's good. Okay. That's a beautiful, let's save. That is a stunning. Wait, let me get to it. What am I doing? Can you walk? Why is the controller not working anymore? That's great. The camera's kind of moving around. Right, so there are some items there that, again, in the overworld, well, we're still kind of in the overworld, in the playable bit. But what I'm really in love with is that, whoa, there, the grass one, that is textured, holy fuck, okay. That's beautiful, I think. That is the pinnacle of game design. I don't want to be so mean, like this is a finished product, but I, I think that's beautiful. I love that wall. That's gonna be my wall now. I hope they never change it. I hope they leave it like that. <laughs> With the green stripes and green everything. Okay. Okay, so I teleported somewhere else. Uh, game froze and game crashed. So I'm back now. I really don't think it wants me to be here. I'm not gonna lie, but that's okay. So there's a Pokemon and I'm just gonna quickly show you that I can't get to it. Fedya can't get to it. I keep trying to get Fedya to just like get there well that proves pretty self-explanatory it can't there's a wall we we'll keep repeating there's a wall i think if you take a shot every single time i say we're behind the wall or there's a wall you might actually be able to celebrate my birthday with me okay so i'm just gonna try and jump here so like i said i'm 99 sure you can't scale that the reasons being it's not rock it's not anything it's just a texture from the outer playable world so you can't so it looks like a mountain i think that's what it is on top of the cliff i mean on top of the thingy that we're on right now because that's also in the playable area so i don't think i can go on it but i'm gonna try for a bit i mean i'm trying and it doesn't work i think i've gone right through it at least several times let me just try again can i go to the tree no bad that's bad i love trees yeah so let's try to just quickly no it's not I'm gonna try another few times off camera for your sanity and my sanity and everyone's sanity. I'm gonna be back. Okay, I'm back and that didn't work to save my life at all. I tried everything. I tried climbing onto it. I tried jumping really high up. I tried going from another direction. I tried going at an angle. No, that's not scalable. So as far as I'm concerned, from where we are right now, we can't get any higher up. It's just the textures like I've explained a billion times already in this video. Okay, so we have to approach this differently if we want to see any other areas because what I've showed you so far is everything here, really. Okay, so what I'm thinking is there must be a way to climb to a different area, right? Because we're inside of the wall, as you may know, and we found a land surface at the very bottom of the, like, at the, where the ocean was. There was a bit of a floor textured bit thingy, you know, that we went into and then we got pushed on top of it, right? So what if we go back down and find another of these with another scalable ugly wall and go up to a different bit? You know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, basically what if we find another way in? The shorter version of what I just said. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try to go down a way that isn't the same as before. 
obviously. So let's see. This looks to be dangerous. I'm just going to say, I don't like this. This is freaking me out. Because if I fall down now and I fall into the void, there's a very, very, very big chance that I get sent back to the cave in the city. Okay, let's fall. Let's fall, let's fall. I don't like how this is falling. This is reminiscent of trying to get into area zero before you can go into area zero. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to get sent back to the cave. Please, let's go back up. Come on. Come on, back up. That, that, that didn't look promising at all. Okay, come, 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 come. Why can you not climb? What the hell is this? Why can I not climb it? Why can't I climb it? Oh my God, just go up. Come on. Oh my God, it can't go up. Are you kidding me? No, stop falling. No, I don't like how you're falling. You're struggling as my No! Oh, okay. Well, I panicked for nothing. I'm not doing that again. I seem to be falling. I seem to be going further down. I don't think I can... I don't think there's any way to actually go further down. Yep. Mm, okay. Yep, okay. That That's not... That's just not gonna work. That's, just, that's not working. No, 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 no. We're not having this again. Climb back up. Climb back up climb go back up no stop falling stop falling stop falling stop falling please stop falling let's go back up let's go back up yep yep like that like that go go jump and turn around maybe as well you know that'd be great that would be super helpful come on okay that works that's fine we're going back up we're safe now we're going no we're safe okay that's fine that's fine that's great Okay, so just from you watching me, that probably looked like I had the motor skills of a two-year-old, but I can assure you, it was really, really difficult to do. Or I do have the motor skills of a two-year-old. Okay, so I got to this point here, and I'm pretty sure that's the furthest in this direction that you can go by swimming. It's not allowing me to pull up a map, which tells me I can't go any further. I need to take a few steps back. Okay, so I'm back. I had to stop for a second because someone, you know who, decided it was time for the zoomies. So she collapsed everything that was on the table, you know, <laughs> my laptop, my lights, my camera, well, my phone, you know, and the games. And I'm really, really glad I saved right now because, yeah, hopefully it doesn't look too different. Hopefully it looks okay and we can get back to where we were. I'm just going to put you back into your seat hope it's comfortable okay so as you can see we're back in the next to the beach area and there are a fair few oh wait okay i that's never happened before so maybe i can actually hit the pokemon even though we're in the wall that's a bit i'm gonna try to catch something maybe i can because why not okay 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 something walked into me it's a gyarados i don't have a gyarados in this game i should have catch it in the love bowl the love bowl percentage was uh, 100, right? For Pokemon of the same gender. Sorry, opposite gender. Nope, it didn't work, so it wasn't that. <laughs> I just love it trying to battle with the wall. The camera is so messed up right now. Okay, so there's no way I can attack the Gyarados without fainting it. I'm going to try to switch into Lucy to burn her and wait it out. Hmm, isn't that funny? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm back. I only have one love ball left. That's concerning because if I can't catch it in a love ball, then I will be sad. So let's try. It's in the red now, so hopefully it should work. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it works. <laughs> cool. Okay. Amazing. Great. Great. I caught it. Great. And Fegia's just floating. So it was in the water, according to the game, I think. I want to properly train this Gyarados since we've caught it on my birthday and under, you know, like special circumstances, I guess. So if you have any ideas for names that I should give it, just leave a comment down below because I have no idea. I don't really play with Gyarados. I don't know what's the fitting of a Gyarados. So if you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments and the name that resonates with me most, I guess I will pick. So what I'm going to do now that we've done, I think, everything so far is we're finally going to have the picnic because that's why we came here in the first place so let's do that i think this is a pretty fine area it's gonna let me do that here right now so let's do that what why is it just fedia and two of us i have six 
six Pokemon in my party and Toothless, so that's seven. And then I'm going to, I guess, have a picnic somewhere else that's not here because it won't let me. <laughs> Yay, thank you, game. Working as always. I remember that when I found this area originally, there was a tiny patch of grass that I couldn't get to. So before we leave into the playable area, because I don't want to do this whole thing again, I'm going to try to get into the patch of grass and then, you know, have the picnic afterwards. Okay, cool, we're on the patch. I found it. It took me just 10 minutes. It's fine. I got it. And it's the least interesting patch of grass that I've ever been on. It's flat, but at least I can see downwards and it's okay. I guess you can see the whole thing. <sighs> okay, let's go back up now. Well, you can't say that I didn't show you the patch of grass, at least. I went there and you saw it, so now we've explored everything that can be explored. Okay, so let's try to go this way. I don't like that. I don't like that. That wasn't how I wanted that to end. Well then, picnic time, because Making sandwich, making making sandwich. Throw the sandwich and put it in a sandwich. Making sandwich, that's what it's gonna make. Making a sandwich. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is this is great. This is brilliant. Diamond shining pro. Hey, voila. That is a sandwich, and it achieves the purpose of a sandwich. That's all I can say. To it's fine, that's a tasty key original, and I'm not gonna make the joke that I wanted to make about that, but you can probably infer the joke, so yeah. Oh. Well, as long as my babies are happy, then I guess I'm happy. Peter's just loafing around as always. I'm gonna try. It's really cute, I wanna take a picture. No, that was a bad angle. Okay, from here. I have to say, the camera controls in this game are both really good and really bad. Like, why can't you move around? I don't know, it's just, okay, let's snap a picture quick, A. And Charlie came for a picture, that's so sweet. My heart, okay, that's so adorable. Oh, he left though. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure we got some pictures anyway. I'm gonna do something now that I never do in those games because I don't like the mechanic at all. I, I've done it a few times, okay, I'm lying. I've done it a few times, but I don't do it regularly because I don't like the mechanic, and that is to check the basket for any eggs. I don't think there should be any eggs, but I'm gonna check, and if there's an egg, I'm gonna hatch it, and then have a Pokemon born on my birthday. And if there's no egg, that's actually gonna be quite sad. I, why, I probably shouldn't have announced this before checking because then it's gonna be sad. There's an egg! There, 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 there's an egg! Okay, cool, 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 let's get it. Yes, I want it. I want it. In the party, it goes. Cool, okay. Cool. Amazing. I want to hatch it in the bit that says nothing to you in the area where we started, because it feels, it feels cute, you know? Like, it's my birthday, it's gonna be born on my birthday, and it's the area that you start the game in, like, it makes sense in my head. I'm just gonna see you when the egg hatches. Okay, guys, it's time. Okay. I'm not ready. I'm really not ready. I think it's gonna be a Mankey, because my only female, like explicitly female Pokemon is Kamui. And she's a girl. And I checked the egg groups and everything while I was walking around, and the only Pokemon in my party who she can breed with is Luxenia. So that's exciting. They're gonna have a little baby. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a manky, because yeah. So okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so cute. I mean, I expected it to be a manky, but I don't know what to name him or her then. <laughs> so sweet. So sweet! We share a birthday and it's a fighting type. I mean, of course it would be a fighting type because I only have fighting types apart from Vedia. But... <laughs> okay, guys, my game crashed again. So future me is going to name the Mankey and I'm just going to add a screenshot right now 
to show you that I've named him or her or anything. I haven't checked. I didn't get to do anything. Luckily, I saved. I think that's a good note to end on, really. You know, the birth of a new Pokemon. I'm really happy. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the video with our special guest for today. And happy birthday to me, of course. Did you hear that? Did my camera get that? That was a cat just aggressively meowing. That was odd. Okay, it's fine. It's chaos. It's perfect. It's amazing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do all the YouTube drill of subscribing, hitting the bell, liking the video, leaving a comment. You know how it goes. And yeah. Clap, clap. Happy birthday to me. Thank you, Kai, for joining us today. He's very thrilled. Don't forget to leave a name for the Gyarados in the comments. That's very, very important. A she, Gyarados, a her, a female. God, that froze my brain in a way it shouldn't have. But yes, it's a she and she needs a name. So thank you guys so much for watching again because this video means a lot to me because, you know, celebrations and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I hope you enjoyed exploring the DLC area with me. And until next time, as always, take care of your Pokemon, love them and battle with them well. Bye.